ora, I'm James Beck and this is Food and Wine Country. I've been cooking for 15 years in Hawke's Bay now and I just love it here. I love the people, I love the producers, I love the products. In this behind the scenes series, I'm really excited to be pulling back the covers and show you the beating heart of Hawke's Bay food and wine country. Tonight we're off to a batch of mahi town. I've got a barbecue ready to go. Put the words out to a few mate of mine, so hopefully they've got some delicious kai moana waiting for me. Okay, so here I am in beautiful Mahia. The beach is just out there in the top of Hawke's Bay, Wairua district. I'm on holiday, so I don't want to do too much work, so I'm going to cook some really simple food today with some beautiful kai moana. I'm going to start with a little bit of kingfish. Look, it's so fresh, I don't have to do anything to do it. I'm just going to slice it into some thin slices and dress it on a plate. Well, I'm hoping to get some power, you know, because that's pretty predominant up here in, in, in around Mahi and, and also some craze. It's really amazing to dive and grab this yourself and then a couple of hours later be slicing and cooking it. Straight away I chuck in my pawa. There you go, look at that, nice and brown. So all those juices that came out of the pawa are now going to go into the sauce as well. Put a little bit of lime juice. This is called deglazing the pan, so this is going to bring everything off the pan. And a little bit of coconut cream. I throw in the pawa heat it through, and that's good to go, yum. Cool, so I'm just getting my tomato salad ready now. Bit of a trick to the corn, because I've actually already steamed this and soaked it in water overnight, and what that means is that after I grill it on the barbie, when I cut it off, it's gonna hold together and just visually look really cool. A beautiful fresh salad for a summer's day. Here I've got a little dressing I made from the limery lime juice with some brown sugar, kind of like a caprina really. A little bit of uh, good old Hawke's Bay olive oil. And really the key to crayfish I think is not cooking it too much. So I'm gonna try and be really careful here just to get a nice color and then I'm gonna turn it over and finish it on the other side. I wish you could smell what I can smell now. Mmm, look at that, straight out of the bay and onto the plate. I've got a really lovely and light saffron aioli, a really delicious Hawke's Bay summer beach dish. So I usually go to the farmer's market fortnightly and get right. um, deli meat from Mike Wilkinson, yep. Hohepa cheese, the urban smokery, and yep. we've got tikapu honey. Oh cool, I want some of that. Oh, I'll have some of the quark, thanks. Quark? Yeah, cheers. All together we have close to around about 11,000 trees or so. We grow here on the orchard predominantly early stone fruit. And then you got some apricots yeah, too? Yeah, there's some apricots here. Oh, you got the lot, eh? Yeah. Yeah, hey, good, man. Take them away. Chuck it in, eh? Chuck it on the barbie or whatever. Yeah, 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 chuck it on the barbie. We're going to do some lovely grilled stone fruit from Otoki Orchard. I'll just smear a little bit of olive oil on that. And in the meantime, I've got my delicious Kiwi Airs lamingtons. Just sort of chucking it together. Lastly, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of this thyme and honey syrup I made out of the delicious tikapu honey. There you have it.
In this behind the scenes series, we're going to discover the people and the produce that make Hawke's Bay such a great destination for foodies. Stay tuned for something delicious.